Radio Free Tatooine presents Galactic War Report, a Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes podcast. Boshuda, fellow Hollow Table hustlers, you're tuned into Galactic War Report, a Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes podcast that's better than some and worse than others. I'm Sean, a.k.a. The Other Sean, and sitting across the hollow table from me is Josh, a.k.a. The Golden Pop-Tart. So I had a first time in from doing this podcast that I've had someone that came into my work and said, I think I know who you are. And oh, really? I'm sitting there going, really? What? Hold on, what? And I guess a, a friend of, a friend of mine talked to him, but was like, yeah, it's like, I've been listening to that. That's you? I was like... Wow! Look at this. Like I got a one oh, person in a, in a in a city here that that knows who I am. And yeah, how can I help you? You know, <laughs> it's, it's happened to me at like conventions and stuff. Like that that kind of stuff will happen sometimes. Um, it's only happened to me I think once in the wild, like just around here, where someone that I knew came up and she's like, "I need to introduce you to my boyfriend." <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And she de- like I knew her from some st- sort of family friends, but whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh like she introduced me and he's like, I play Galaxy of Heroes. Look at this. I just got CLS and blah 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 nice. all this stuff. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. I love it. I love it. That's why we do it, you know? Certainly not for for the pay. <laughs> It's it's just funny though because it's like you, at that point you got to show the collection and you got to go through and talk about like yeah. what you're grinding. It was just kind of fun. I mean, it just sure. I wasn't they expecting get a sneak it preview. for one. There you go. You right? know, normally you got to wait a full week, but I mean, plus yeah. how many people are, are you walking around and they're like, "Yep, they're playing Swoga still." Yep, they're playing Swoga. Like you don't get yeah. that. I, I don't. I expect most people not to be playing, but yeah, Absolutely. but they're missing out if they're not. Well, this week, uh, there's not a whole heck of a lot of news, really. Um, we've got, you know, the galactic chase for comeuppance has been going on. That wraps up in the next couple hours. So we'll talk about that. We, uh, you know, we reached out to you last, uh, well, the last poll that we did last week <laughs> was about, you know, what game modes interest you the most. And and we heard you loud and clear, and it's Conquest, so we're going to talk about that a little more tonight. We're also going to be going over the end of 5v5 and how we did. There were triumphs and there were heartbreaks. There was all of that. So we'll cover mm. all that and more. But first, we're toward the end of January and... That means it is Blurf Day season. It's back in full swing. We had a couple last week. That's great. We got a whole batch this week. So let's celebrate some Blurf Days. It's really only two Blurf Days, but each one has a lot of celebrations. So on the 26th, we're celebrating Death Trooper, Director Krennic, and TIE Reaper, which were all three released in 2017. Seven Hmm. years ago, they were all released, and and Rogue One, to kind of coincide with that, had just come out. Uh, That's that's nuts. Three (laughs) units on one day. Right? I mean, it's weird to think about that. And all of, I mean, Death Trooper you use, right? I mean, he's there. Yeah, Krennic, not at all. Nope. <laughs> not even nope. a little. He's one of those characters that, like, you, you relic up for a galactic legend to unlock. And then just nothing. A lot of times you, you look at those characters and you're like, well, I have them in relics. I can probably at least, no. No, you can't do anything with that man. And what's worse is even with the Omicron, you know, I mean, so I mean, yeah. you have the ability to to spruce him up a little bit and it's still you don't see it on defense. Yeah. You don't see it on offense. Well, you know, I mean, like, I think he was kind of designed to work alongside Death Trooper. And the, the sad fact is Death Trooper works 
on a Dark Trooper Moff Gideon team mm-hmm. or on an Iden Versio team. And that's it. I mean, I guess you can mash him into a Veers team if you're just getting started with troopers, but uh, that that's it. You're not going to there's no there's no Krennic lead. There's that's that's not a thing. He's gone. I mean and even Ty yeah. Reaper, as good as Empire is right now, Ty Reaper ain't it. There's, <laughs> there's, there's better out there. That's like that reinforcement that you throw in just for good luck or something. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I don't have to use you, but... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, on the 27th, we have a, a different situation here. We've got, uh, from 2017... We have Amelin Holdo and Rose. So like three troop, three characters come out and the next day two more characters come out. What is even happening? Yeah, that's crazy. crazy. I love it. Uh, which when they came out, you know, they were um, uh, Rise of Skywalker characters. Or I, I'm sorry. No, they weren't Rise of Skywalker. They were uh, uh, Last Jedi characters. Yep. Cause as a Skywalker was a couple of years later. Um, they were super divisive. Everyone was like, you know, whatever. I have opinions. And I took that and said, you know what, though? Rose, I'm going to use. <laughs> she gets her Zeta. <laughs> and then when Omicrons came out, I said, and she gets her Omicron, too. So I got a little spot in my heart for Rose, Tico. I guess so. We've been through it. Just not a spot uh, in your roster. Not yet, but I think when I not yet you are the the most optimistic Rose player ever. I am. No, <laughs> she's actually pretty good on a Zori team. Yeah. Um. With with Finn, Poe, her Zori, and Finn, Poe, her Zori, and I don't know someone else. Is it Holdo? Somebody else. Old? No. Nope. I don't know. Nope. Got no clue. But I'll figure it out. I'll use her. <laughs> <laughs> uh and then also on the 27th was second sister in 2022 you know the inquisitor we don't use no for really much and she was the first one wasn't she i think so yeah her mm. uh her ship is good though i will say i use her ship that's that's good um speaking of which in 2023 also on the 27th tide defender an absolute legend of a ship. That thing yeah. is awesome. So, yeah, some pretty good celebrations this week, I'd say. I mean, I just wonder what's next for us. You know, we haven't really, we don't know. I just see her and I see 2022 there was a character out by now. 2023. Yeah. So then I'm like, what's, what's coming? What's next one? Yeah, what's coming? Uh... Yeah, let's take a look at some upcoming in-game events brought to you by SWGOHEvents.com for a list of past, present, and future events. SWGOHEvents.com is a universe of info in a galaxy of heroes. Now, there's not a lot on the docket this week. Mm. We're finishing up territory battles soon. We're still going through conquest, so that'll, mm-hmm. that'll take some time and energy, right? But all we've got on the 26th is Contraband Cargo, 27th, Places of Power, Assault Battle, 28th, we've got a Smuggler's Run 2, as well as Territory War Sign Up, so we're going to be deploying defenses on the 29th, as well as doing an Omega Battle on Jakku. On the 31st, Stardust Transmission comes back, you may have some uh, feelings about that one. Here we go. I get to start the pain with everybody else. Yeah, really. Uh, welcome aboard, bud. You'll be watching a few videos that day, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then on the first, we've got another Territory War. Sign up, number 310. That's it. Mm. That's not a whole lot. It's like, not. Light week. But it's still, yeah. though, I mean, I'm thinking about all the other stuff that you're going to do. I'm okay. Yeah. I mean, considering, we, yeah, Conquest is going all through that. So, should we'll we be have fine. a Galactic Challenge? Is that just we not should. There? They're, not, not uh, they're not in the calendar, though. So, yeah, I'm sure. I mean, it should be every um, Monday and Friday. So, yeah. Oh, you know what? Tomorrow's 
they're not added to the calendar but t- i saw tomorrow's is uh like bonuses for something you're fighting against mandalorians i think it's bonuses for tuscans oh if i remember correctly i'm definitely going to use uh, tuscans yep bonuses for tuscans woot woot sorry about that all right before we get into the week's top stories a quick shout out to our fantastic patreon supporters if you enjoy what we do and you want to be part of our exclusive community head over to patreon.com slash galactic war report your support makes this podcast possible and you'll even get access to the vip section of our discord server we call it the jawa junction for some behind the scenes banter now punch it pop tart (laughs) so i mean the real only i'm not gonna say only news that came out is the February calendars out there, but we don't want to go too yeah. much into that. So, uh, but really, let's start off with the comeuppance. And yeah, and and so it's kind of again, it's out there. I haven't used it yet, and uh, but I also didn't hoard as much fleet uh, as well as you did. But yeah, how's yours end up going right now? Uh, well, we're just an hour and a half from the end of the chase, and I am sitting at thirty out of a hundred. Got Ooh. her up to six stars. 30 out of 100, I did my daily 50s, my daily 100s, crystal refreshes, um, and I hoarded a bit at the beginning. I did miss the like energy, fleet energy that they give you at 6 o'clock. I missed that twice. So that kind of hurts. When you're really focusing on something and you look up and it's 8.05. Yeah. I missed it by five minutes, you know, like, <laughs> that's kind of painful, but, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with 30 out of a hundred, at least it's six stars. That's yeah. You know, sure. It'll sit there for quite a while. What about you? Where'd you get to? We're not, I mean, I have a six in, in the shard piece to it, but not six stars. So, mm. uh, for me really haven't been going hardcore. I mean, my radis is, is still at five stars. So, I mean, this is not a high priority, mm. but sure. without really trying, six out of eighty-five. So I'll take it. I yeah. mean, again, it's another tank out there, right? So that I can you got it right? to five stars. Tank. Yeah. Um. And no, it's a support. No, it's a support. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I'll take it to five stars, and obviously, and yeah. then it's going to go on defense. It's another ship that I can give one more reinforcement in the back. So yeah, sure we'll thing. take it. And at five stars, it gets its full reinforcement ability. So yep. that's that's a win. You're good. Um, yeah, I look forward to it. Now, unfortunately, my Zori is still like Mine too. not done. You know, so we're working on it. We'll get there. I'm, I'm confident. That's another one where it's just like I know at some point, like if it was game changing, it's it's one thing. Like I think about with Marauder, yeah. I'm actually working on those three you know, bad batch because it's such a great ship, you, you know? And so working on yeah. that, you know, but then with Zori, yeah, she's great, but she's not a requirement. I think for anything. if you're going to go for comeuppance, like if you really put the effort in, you kind of, this is one of those situations where you kind of have to ask yourself, what am I going to get out lucky? of this? <laughs> I never feel lucky. Actually <laughs> with these drop rates, I feel like I've been fairly lucky. I like that. But you kind of have to ask, like, what am I going to get out of this? And if I'm going to invest any other resources into it, like, how can I how can I piece this together and make it make sense? And so I look at my Zori and I say, I, I have to work on my Zori. But then I come out of it with not just a comeuppance that is, like, respectable, right? Mm-hmm. But an actual Zori Bliss team that I can use in Grand Arena. So I'm not I'm not opposed to giving her her Omicron. I've got I've got a long list of Omicrons. I, want. <laughs> That's I feel like part. we all do, right? They are um, hungry. But I'm not opposed to that. I think that would be a fun team. And like I said, I have a Rose Omicron. I I gotta use it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a terrible way to look at this game. If you waste an Omicron on a character, just let it be. You know, yeah, you nice. wasted it. It's cool. Um, I've got three Omicrons on Boba Fett Scion of Django because mm, I'm not? a dunce, you know. 
anyways, yeah, uh, what do we got on this February calendar? Any big reveals here? Nothing real big reveals wise, but it's just kind of nice to kind of see, you know, what's happening as a whole. We got the B1 as the uh, overall for the calendar, which I think, is again, I mean, if you're a conspiracy theorist slash like you're looking at it, I mean, I hope we're going back to Clone Wars. I mean, kind of fun if that's sure. uh, something's happening. Um, kind yeah. of look at Go it. Go back I mean, to Bad nothing. Batch maybe too. That'd be, Ooh, yeah. Give me a crosshairs. Like... I'd be all right with that. All I know is for Mythics, there's only one. So if you're looking for mm-hmm. two in this month, you only get one. I'm sorry. Yeah. Only one really, there is. Really nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, that's the that's the interesting part. So I was just like, all right. So Yeah, I'm looking at all the details and it's, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, pretty run of so, the mill. Like we said, top stories. I'm not sure if they're top. They're a little bit low stories tonight. So yeah, if some, some weeks you don't have to do much to be a top story. You know? Agreed, right? <laughs> You're welcome, February calendar. Yeah. All right. So let's let's talk conquest then. Let's let's move on to what people actually care about. <laughs> um, we're you know we're less than halfway through conquest, so th- I think this yeah. is a great point to kind of reflect, see how things have gone. You know, we we had one conquest before. Now, w- with with these data disks and these nodes and these feats. So now we're attacking this one maybe a little bit differently than we did last time. Um, and hopefully, you know, we can kind of grow a little bit. That's the plan. That's, <laughs> That's the, the hope, goal. yeah. What, uh, what, what have you gotten to? Like, what sector are you at? How many uh, little conquest biscuits are we looking at? Yeah, so I am almost all the way done with sector four. And so it's I'm moving pretty quick as as a whole, but I think I'm being a yeah. little bit more efficient this time around. Biscuits wise, I'm at two fifty seven, and so I did buy the nice. the pass again, so help me out a little bit. So with Bane, I'm at one ten now. So I mean, I, again, I'm not going to be where I want to be by the end of this, but still, I'm, I'm getting there. Yeah, you know, I think this time around it's interesting because. You know, I asked for a lot of help on the other on on the last time around, but I don't think I was very efficient with how I used it. And so then at the mm. end, I kind of fizzled. I think this time around, I'm more, yeah, yeah. I'm ready for the long term on there. So then even kind of going back to sector one, you know, like when I got done, like I needed like one more resistance as a whole. But I'll tell you what, it's nice in that first one where everything doesn't die right off the bat too. So I'm always like, man, it'd be mm-hmm. nice to be able to do some of these little things, but um, but feats wise, I mean, I, I know there's ones I'm just not going to be able to do. The Tuscans just isn't going to happen. Um, yeah. my light side Mandos right now, I think I'm going to be in better position. I think at the end of this one than I was before, because I'm really trying to work on that a little bit. Um, mm-hmm. the tough well, they ones don't have again, to be perfect, but nope, just enough. Yeah. I got to be able to do yeah. one AOE. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing, That'll do it. And one thing I'm debating on, which I don't know if I'm going to or not, but I thought about actually changing around some mods in just enough to get someone fast enough to get the AOEs out there just to get those wins. And I've never done that before. I've never changed any type of mod for Conquest. But for Conquest, yeah. But again, it's just, I mean, what if I put some god mods on these, on these people just to get it to where I survive? But... Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, I think so far so good. Major uh, feats, the the globals there. I've I've done the golden path, which is pretty easy. Um, I followed the yellow road, right? Um, and then <laughs> uh, first order and rebels are easy. So those are the two right now. I, I'm actually a little bit higher. I I have 11 out of 40, but it's actually more than that now. And then rebels, I'm kind of waiting because I'm waiting for confusion um, to get that one a little bit. So I'm only at eight out of 40. But I know getting that confusion is going to move it up a little bit later on. My, I mean, again, a lot of these, I'm just looking at it like I know I'm not going to get the Ewoks. It just it just can't happen. I mean, right. I would love realistic. for it to happen. Yeah. And so, and I kind of did go through to see exactly what needs to work, what doesn't. But hey, we'll see what happens. Um, let's go to the miners real quick. So uh, the secondary, I'm actually dots. I'm doing way better than I did last time when I realized before i was doing all these teams and yeah all the uh 
Amplify Agony and all that fun stuff with all those discs. Uh, that doesn't, doesn't give you anything, right? Yeah. So, yeah, so this you're time not I'm in, them. Yeah. yeah, right. So I'm 377 out of 500. So I'm almost oh, nice. there. And you and don't so have Lord the, Vader, so that's I don't. Yeah, that's yeah. Something. So it's yeah. Sith Eternal, um, getting Sith Eternal with Vader, and then just basically with Watt in there, yeah. just given the yeah, it, it works out pretty well. And then Sector 2, uh, Empire, I'm 33 out of 50. That one's pretty easy. It just, I need uh, the Inquisitors to have a little bit more stamina left because we got down to 2 uh, or 20%. And at mm. that point, I mean, with that AoE is still strong, but um, mm-hmm. we're not there just yet. But Confusion, again, only 6 out of 40. I think that one's going to be fine. Potency up. I did that one too, just in a grind in the nodes. And then yeah. it's real easy for the Bounty Hunters piece to it. So. See, I, have, I think I have zero of those. I haven't even started powder. Oh, uh, I mean, it's easy though. Uh, I mean, with, with you know, with Jabba, so it's it's not bad at all. Yeah. I, yeah. Sector three really starts when the not so fun stuff, like days. I'm only six out of a hundred for that one, mm-hmm. and it's just going to be again. I think I'm going to have to grind, get rid of the data discs, and just work on that. Oh, yeah. But I got That's a plan. A, take care of all the rest of conquest yep. and come back. Yeah. And so, same thing for Sector 4. I mean, crit damage up is easy, but expose, not so much, which sounds mm-hmm. weird. I mean, you get caught yeah. if you expose too much, right? No? I think so. I, I've, I've, yeah, I've I mean, read that. I, yeah. I was taught as a child not to expose, yeah. but so it's hard for me to get 100 of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, moving the data disks, it's uh, currently... Amplify, 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 amplify. Wow, there you go. Last well one. Well done. So only listen to the last word I said there. Uh, times two, Vanguard, Accelerator, yeah. Thermal Exhaust, Ruthless Offense. Ruthless Offense, I feel bad. There's just like one left. So I'm like, all right, who gets what? But right. But then for the future, I mean, again, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to use, but I'm really focusing on kind of the defensive side of it getting your health back so that way i can do a lot of the you know the grindy pieces to it uh vitality Uh, i i do like the perseverance even though it's like you just add up when you do out of like out of attack turns um out of turn attacks and so i do like that one especially for i I don't really need it but i like it so unstable decelerator again that one's good get that turn meter back um and then again, the two other ones are just flat, just gain health and protection. So, so I feel like I am way more organized. Like I actually know what discs I have. I actually know yeah. what I'm going for. So like, I mean, I'm not up to the university yet, but I'm stepping my toe into community college on this. And I, I'm, I'm not <laughs> saying that educated. I'm like, I, yeah. I'm not going to have a doctorate in, in, in conquest anytime soon, but you know, I'm not getting kicked out of the class. Yeah, yeah. No, it sounds like you're you're being realistic about what you yeah. can and can't do, and setting things up pretty well. So yeah, so yeah. that's that's where I am. Like I said, two fifty seven for biscuits, and are you pretty close to that now too, or no? That ain't bad. Uh, I'm at two twelve, but I've been going back and doing like more work on those datacron nodes, which doesn't show. It's not like I have a lot yeah. of datacrons, but like redoing things to get um some uh, move move the needle on those mandalorian attacks the ewok attacks i have four of each of those i it's not a whole lot but i'm not that far behind you either so <laughs> i think yeah, that's probably true. why I mean, though um first order i've got 18 out of 40 and rebels i have 17 out of 40 so i feel pretty good about that um yeah. rebels there's several teams you can use and first order is like as long as Kylo has a pulse, he can get a win. Yeah, I know, right? Um, so, you know, those those are not emergency. I haven't done any Veers and Piet kills. I know those are kind of cheesable. And this time around, I have uh, some unstable decelerators. Mm. So the cheese is going to happen. I don't have to, you know, get frustrated on that one this time. Um I also have the golden path done. Um, For sector feats, just a couple that stand out. I got the dots done. That was pretty easy with Lord Vader and Darth Vader Mm -hmm. on the same team. It's just, I mean, you get like 100 per battle. Um, 
Resistance, I'm only halfway. I've done 7 out of 14. Empire Kills for Sector 2, I've got 34 out of 50. That shouldn't take me long. A couple more Inquisitor battles, and, and we'll be right there. And like I said, Bounty Hunters, I haven't even started. Uh, you know, I hadn't put much thought into it, but if you just told me, hey, go do a Bounty Hunter battle, I'd probably do a Bosk lead. Oh, and yeah. you mentioned, those are so easy with Jabba. And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just dumb. <laughs> I forgot that that's a team. So we'll be doing that. Um, Tuscans, I have zero out of 14. And last time I only had like three or four and I ended up skipping it. Mm. So I'm kind of inclined to do that because the problem with Tuscans is mine are all relic three or higher, all the Zetas and everything, but they don't do well when they get below like 80% stamina. Mm. You can get a couple good battles out of them, but like, I don't know. It's a little risky because if you find yourself behind, if you if you are going for it and you're in the last couple days and you find yourself a little behind, there's not a great way to catch up. I mean, consumables yeah. maybe, but there really isn't a great way to just make it happen. So anyways, my data disc lineup right now, I've got two protection shields. I mentioned last time. I, I like those. Yeah, I don't even know they're, what those do, to be honest. I, I don't, don't think I've seen one. You think one. I know what any of this stuff does? I know. Um, that was... You get protection. Let me see. What I don't remember what triggers it. Uh, that would be in Conquest, my friend. Um, I've got two of those. I have... Currently, I have uh, two Amplify Agony and a Volatile Accelerator. And I like that most of this stuff is like green and blue. So, mm-hmm. like, it's it's pretty good stuff. And then I have one Ruthless Swiftness equipped right now because I just, I had, like, oh, one. There it is. Uh, one thing, you know. Um, protection whenever shield is whenever you're crit. Yeah. Whenever you get crit, uh, crit-id, crit, uh, all allies recover 15% protection. So, for me, if they get, I have two of those going. I have a 15% and a 5%, so they're getting... 20% protection whenever enemies mm. score a crit. Not bad for, for some of the cheese stuff. And even, honestly, for some of the uh, Kylo Ren stuff. Because as much as First Order can win, like, someone's going to die. Yeah. It's so frustrating. It it happens every time. I'll kill four out of five of them. And then they one-shot my First Order officer real quick to make sure I only get two stars. Of course. It, Thank you so much. Mm, it's so rude. <laughs> How dare you? I know. Uh, so anyways, I'm, I'm doing pretty well. As far as other things for me to worry about, I have to keep in mind, Sector 5, you want to have a crew node available. Yes. A crew node in Sector 5, very important, because that's how you cheese all this stuff. Um, there's, there's other ways you can do it with Phoenix, but uh, crew is preferred. So I have to remember that. I also, looking at my data disks, I'm pretty happy with them, but I don't have a voluntary vanguard. Mm. So I do definitely want to pick one of those up. Otherwise, I think I'm I'm good. I've got, I feel, you know, what I need. I've got a couple of ruthless swiftness. Uh, I have one equipped, but I've got a couple extras and some ruthless offense and, uh, and, and whatnot. So I'm in pretty good shape, I think. Um, 212 biscuits, sector three. I think I'm on pace to hit max crate again. Nice. So we'll see. Uh, But I can mess up anything. I'm about to start a new (laughs) job. Boy, oh boy, I could mess up anything. (laughs) I mean, in in game. I was going to say, like, in the game, I mean, you could just be like, yes. (laughs) (laughs) You're like, all right, by the way, at like four o'clock, I have to take at least an hour break to be able to do this, this, right. and this. And I told you not to call me during Conquest. <laughs> yeah, like 12 <laughs> o'clock, I have to get my energy. Like This is just part of the contract. I wrote that in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so, it is time again for a Grand Arena breakdown, where victories are celebrated and defeats are typical. If you want a front row seat to the action, catch us live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash the other Sean and twitch.tv slash the golden pop tart with a one in place of the L. Join the chat, cheer us on, watch the chaos unfold. Are you ready? Neither are we. Let's do this. How did you end your 5v5 season of Grand Arena? 
Tell me you won. Well, I mean, so first round I lost, and guess what? It was ships, right? So lost uh, to area, Curran. So mm. fourteen seventy four to says seventeen ninety four, and then I thought, here's the thing: I lost last one. Why don't I stream? So I streamed, uh, and on the whole mm-hmm. time I'm panicking because I'm thinking I'm gonna get stuck in ships, and this is gonna be it, and this is gonna be what I'm gonna do. But yeah, I had a lot of fun, and so I ended up winning that. And I went against Timel, which is kind of fun. So, but I had some really cool things that I had on there. So SLKR took down the Java real easy. Probably a Java nice. Ray and Leia, and that was just scary. And uh, uh-huh. luckily, Star Killer was able to take down Ray. But then Jabba, first time on offense, on stream no less, I just destroyed Leia. And it felt so good. It's I mean, so fun. It's so fun I to get it. all of those, you know, thermal detonators on her and then just chuck mm-hmm. the other Leia. I mean, I don't throw Leia, obviously, but she throws her and it just, rude. it's so fun. So, and then I've been really enjoying Reva on offense and I'm like, all right, let's try this against Starkiller. That was easy. So that was really huh. nice. And so um, I've been kind of f- trying to find on, on Insight just like what can I use her with. So I thought, hey, this is cool. We're good. And yeah. so then I've been doing really well against executors with a first order and ships. Guess what? If I can beat ships, if I can beat the executor, I usually win. So I beat the executor with uh, first order. So that worked out great. Now, I will say there it wasn't perfect because it was a really tough D for me. And, mm. uh, and so there's a Treya on defense and I'm like, I got Jedi master Luke left in Kenobi. I'm like, I do not want to use Kenobi just in case there's something in the back row. And yeah. Jedi master Luke got beat up pretty good. So mm. then I had to use Kenobi as a cleanup. So thanks Treya. That was mean. And then mm. again, having Ray, Jabba and Leia, which I normally don't see in, in uh, my Kyber uh, neck of the woods. And so then there was a Malgus and I'm thinking, well, I don't want, I, I had to use Kenobi for Treya. So then I'm like, all right, I'm going to try Jedi Knight Cal to see if I can beat Malgus. And that didn't work out, but I took mm-hmm. down Malgus, at least got to one shot him. And so then I uh, go through and get the bounty hunters to clean up. And then <laughs> I usually do, do pretty well with CLS, but it's funny when you're watching the stream and I watch the stream back for a second just to see, cause I mean, Anakin nuked my CLS team, and typically I can get the stun, and then it works. It it, it didn't work, and it was like mm. delete. And I'm glad that you know at least one other person got to see it. So, um, <laughs> no. Uh, uh, so I, I ended up uh, winning on this one, seventeen to uh, seventeen forty five to seventy five. So they did the typical, yeah. hey, I could have beat you. But I didn't, so yeah, yeah. You know, the seventy-five Just on that so one. Just you know, so, if I yeah, wasn't like, so busy, <laughs> I'd have mopped the floor with you. So I'll take it. Yeah. it. It worked out, and so then going into the last round, um, I am not able to actually pronounce the the name on here. I don't even think it's real. So, um, looking at this one, it was kind of interesting because. There's another Leia on defense, but it wasn't Relic 9. It wasn't Relic 8. And so it must have been a pretty new one on there. So I was like, all right. I mean, Reva can maybe do this. And I took my Reva against it, and I beat Leia with it. So that was pretty awesome. And I knew at this point, like, they already scored 18-32 against me. So that's that's a tough one. So I'm basically like, all right, I'm just going to make this work. And um worked out so but then i got up to to jabba and uh it was pretty interesting because um kenobi timed out which was interesting like i i I don't even know how it happened but i'm just like why is this not happening i mean but hey it is what it is but it was fun because i'm like all right doesn't matter i'm gonna use imperial uh you know the imps out there to to go through and clean up and that worked out great and nice then i saw they had to Reva in the back row. I'm like, oh crap, what am I gonna do with this? And I'm like, all right, gas, can you beat Reva? You beat him, so I'll take it. I wow. mean, it was a pretty good uh, Inquisitor team. Gas took down Reva, and hey, I didn't I mean, even Re- know that worked. I, I hmm. guess it does. 
but it did for me for a moment. So, but it was kind of nice to have Reva beat Leia, and then I would be able to eat, beat Reva with the gas. So, but again, with you know losing on with Jabba, I only had one hold, and that was uh, Malgus. It, it looks like his team he brought Jedi Master Luke against it, but it just couldn't beat it. So, so it was again First Order versus. Uh, well, it was basically Leviathan. I knew I was going to lose against Leviathan, mm-hmm. so I'm like, all right, I'm going to try to do as little as I can to beat the rest of them, and, and it just didn't work out. So I ended up having a final yeah. score of 1406, and like I said, uh, 1832 whooping. That's, um, uh, it's, that's hard. If you would have played your cards right, you still might have lost that one. Yeah, and I, I knew that going into it, so that's why I was just like, all right, I'm going to try yeah. dumb stuff for a moment to see if it can happen and i looked up that player's name that is russian it is, oh, is jedi it? in russian oh really wow i <laughs> yeah look at you which you know russian has a lot of like the same characters as us and then they've got a lot of different ones and it turns out jedi just happens to have a lot of characters okay. that are very unfamiliar i mean I, it's all well i feel bad now because i i didn't actually realize that was even a different language oh. i thought it was different sin i'm pretty bad here <laughs> no, i'm a dumb no. american at this point so. uh, <laughs> i get too i get too curious i have to i have to know so, so yeah so on your notes here i gotta know did we get closer to kyber one? Oh my god i forgot that was on there let me see i don't even know um i was uh let's see my score was Thirty-five forty, and then the hard times came. <laughs> um, let me see, Gak, my profile here. Uh, no, I did not no. get closer to Kyber One. <laughs> <laughs> um, thirty-five forty. Now I am thirty-five thirty-nine. I went down one point. Mm. How At least rude. it's not too bad. Only one point though. I had, you know, last last week when we had spoken, I had a really close win against Amma. It was 1797 to 1757. Like, mm. way too close, right? But it felt great. Round two was one of my worst um, Grand Arena rounds I, like, ever. Easily. Just absolutely rotten. And if you it want was, to watch it, go on street, go yeah, on Twitch exactly. and you can see it. <laughs> because it's, it, I put it all out there for the world to see. Um, I was uh, just getting obliterated. Um, it was against, I have mini ancient hero in here. Mm. But I looked at the characters and, you know, like you, I see other characters characters and i don't know usually i'm pretty good at at least telling what language that would be yeah with this one it was a bunch of kanji and i i guessed japanese at first and that was that was wrong right but in the Mm -hmm. japanese translation it was uh like mini the way people put as a prefix on their name in in english here Mm. but it was uh ancient warrior um, something about like a lover, polyamorous one, mm. and something about a battlefield. I don't know, but interesting. I tried it again. It's it's actually Chinese. I should have known with uh. that many kanji, but whatever. So this player's name. This is the what happened in the match. Doesn't matter. The player's <laughs> name is. Since ancient times, there have been many lustful heroes, and it is not a waste of time to be romantic. Ooh, that's what? Deep. That's your name? That's amazing. That's absolutely that so amazing. Deep. So, I mean, um, wow, this lustful hero absolutely destroyed me, too. <laughs> I mean, it was rotten, just rotten. Um, I will say I got to do Tuscans versus Phoenix, and that's that's fun. That was about where the fun ended. Uh. I tried uh, Afra mm. versus Riva. Did not oh. work. I think that was an accident that I picked the wrong team. Mm. Pretty sure that's what that was. I don't know. But, but that was Maybe an ugly Riva team, though. Yeah. 
I mean, Stupid that had slicker stuff. in there, right? Um, that was that was the Revo with slicker. In it just was it was one and done. Like, get out of here, you're dead. <laughs> so that was disappointing. Um, so then I tried with Treya, and that failed as well. I lost with Star Killer versus Ray. That's always a stinger. So I tried Jedi Master Luke, and that failed too. I lost with Jedi Master Kenobi versus Lord Vader. Mm. So I tried to clean it up with Fennec, and that failed. And then I tried to clean that up with Veers, and that failed. Oh, no. I lost with General Grievous against Starkiller. That was really ugly. I tried a First Order Hux team versus Starkiller. Also didn't work. My Chimera versus Leviathan failed and then i really didn't have anything for java but i threw phoenix star killer night sisters at it and uh it all failed so at the end of the day i did clear one sector i finally beat vader i don't remember what i used to to finish it but i finally beat vader and I got 673 points to their 1771. Mm. Ouch. I did get a, a hold with my Seer against their Malgus. So that's, I guess, yeah, that's, something. that's my victory. Um, round three against Big Johnny K. Uh, you know, I, I did some attacking. It was a little sloppy at times, you know. But Afra and Slicker both failed against Jabba. So you just kind of say, I guess Jabba's not going down this time. Um, Fennec failed against Lord Vader. That was a little risky. Gas failed against Treya. Um, and then General Grievous, Radis, and Treya all failed against Starkiller. Vader and Wampa both failed against Tuscans. Like, wow. you guys, I was running on fumes. And I put up 1321. But Big Johnny K at 455 had not attacked me. Oh, man. And so I messaged him. And I was like, dude, do an attack. Like, do one attack. And so he did. He did one (laughs) attack for 71 points. (laughs) And that was that. (laughs) So I won. Uh, A very close one against Amma. Got absolutely rocked against the ancient lustful battlefield polyamorous warrior and uh and 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 won against big johnny k because he just didn't do anything he could have destroyed me but Thank you, anyways johnny. yeah so what this means for me my end of season stuff oh my god it's disgusting i had 33 wins and 24 losses my winning percentage was 57.9. That's incredibly low. Oh, wow. I only had four defensive holds. Um, just a mess. An absolute mess. So I, I just actually looked up mine, too, because I, I forgot to put that in there. But I was 79.2. See, that's a normal, like... I am not an idiot kind of <laughs> win percentage, but well, 57? I, I, mean, if, ugh. I mean, I think if I go to the last one, I, oh, oh, 74. Okay, I was at 74. Yeah. Okay, then you yeah, had I'm, better Grand Arenas before. I, I had the dumbs. I really had the dumbs this time. I mean, but the luck, Sometimes, though. The, I mean, yeah. I was watching your stream and like... I'm just looking at it like stuff that normally works just wasn't working. Was I mean, you were trying so hard, all. you know. <laughs> I would start a battle and just like instantly Afra is one shot or something. And I'm like, mm-hmm. well. <laughs> Thank you. This, this is, is great. Great. You know. Oh, man. <laughs> Sometimes it just doesn't work. All right. Let's unveil the results of our weekly Patreon poll as decided by you, our loyal Patreon Jawas. To vote, visit patreon.com slash galactic war report and give us some money. Just support the show <laughs> at any level and follow the links to our Discord server. Your support helps keep the hollow table lights on and the sand crawlers running. Now, this week, 
I thought was this is just kind of a for funsies, but interesting data point here. Rewards aside, what has been the most fun raid? Like you could say the rewards on one were not fair or whatever, or too frequent or whatever. Like I don't care about that. I want to know gameplay. What's most fun? And out of all of them, so to review, there was the pit, mm-hmm. Marine Corps. There was tank take da- tank takedown. There was the Sith triumvirate raid. Uh, there was challenge pit, which I knew was not going to be it. No, nope. <laughs> no one yep. enjoyed challenge pit. Uh, crate dragon and speeder bike pursuit. And uh, I should note that speeder bike pursuit did not get zero. So Ooh. it's it's not everyone's least favorite thing ever regardless of what you read on reddit um but the winner i was very surprised tank takedown yeah congratulations tank takedown that's wow. uh that's a blast from the past yeah it's funny because i was looking at this and going i mean the pit i mean being able to just like solo a cls at the beginning when i first started that yeah. was fun you know yeah. and then yeah. you know sith when I could actually get it done with Kylo. I mean, that was fun too. So, I mean, I mean, Tank, yeah. I, I, you could did solo, Did you ever solo obviously. it with Kylo? I did, yeah. Yep. Oh, no way. I never, I never actually did that. I mean, it mm. took a lot, but I mean, it was yeah. fun to do. And so, but then with the Tank, I mean, you could solo with him easily, you know? So, but I mean... I don't know. I, I think sometimes just being able to just go on there and dominate is kind of fun too, though. So yeah, and I don't like anything to be tough. <laughs> right? Yeah, we want we want it easy, man. We work hard for our money. I know. I don't right? want the game to be hard too. Come on. <laughs> All right, lay it on me. Who you grinded? Oh yes, well, I got the, right to it there. No, you did no, too. It there was no just no bust, go. No fuss. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, like I said earlier, Profundity finally is happening. Uh, 2024 is going to be the year of, I'm not going to say ships, but I mean, I'll say ships with lowercase s, H I P. <laughs> and maybe not sure, plural, yeah. but it, it's going to be yeah. a year of getting a ship. Um, so definitely yeah. that. So Dash had to go from Relic 6 to Relic 7. Uh, so that was done. So I am ready. On thirty first, I will be doing that as well. So now, Bo, I again, it's going to be a little while, but Paz went from forty five out of eighty five only up to sixty five out of eighty five. It was those days where zero is still zero, right? So it didn't matter yeah. what the pull rate if it's zero. So, um, mm-hmm. and then I'm thinking, well, you know, I mean. IG-12 is fleet. It feels like this one went pretty good. So 19 out of 30 up to 13 out of 65. And so in Mr. Calloran, he's a, he's a nothing yet. So, I mean, he's not a nothing, mm. but he is 0 out of 30. And I did get him up to gear 11. So he's ready to go. All three are gear 11, ready to go to 12. So, which is kind of nice, which does open up some uh, what's next, unfortunately and fortunately. Now, mm. uh, a couple miscellaneous ships wise, BLT 45 or 48 out of 65 up to 55 out of 65. That's a slow grind. That's it a that's sure a tough one. Is. And, yeah. and it's actually regular energy too, so that's tough. But mm-hmm. it's Marauder, a big ask. Yeah, I know. Marauder, we finally went over that next ledge there, 81 out of 85 up to a whopping zero out of a hundred. So as you can see four for the whole week and that was actually trying. So, Oh man. And I think that's with one refresh one day too. Cause I was so annoyed. I got two right. Like it was two right in a row with zero. And I'm like, I'm going to do one more. Well, (laughs) (laughs) now Leo wise, which actually has crept into Phoenix to be honest. Oh, okay, um, Captain sure. Rex uh, it went from 28 out of 100 up to 47 out of 100. And then he is also sitting there uh, basically at gear 11, almost ready to go to gear 12. I mean, just hungry for Cairo. I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, he's bad as hippos. Um, and then uh, Drogon, 45 out of 85, up to 72 out of 85. Um, 
we're getting there. And then Scout, yeah. 32 out of 85, up to 52 out of 85. So a lot of shards right now. I decided I want to get some of these, obviously, these characters going. So it feels like I'm not doing as much like gear. It's all shards right now. So Yeah. And so then I kind of... I really like the Captain Rex and then seeing how, you know, Phoenix can take care of Reva. And it's just like you look at that and I'm like, there's a lot of like I was looking at success ratio of some of these and most of the top teams that they can beat. I mean, they're 97, 96 percent. So, yeah, yeah. When they I work, mean, they work. And I, I think that's where for me, I mean, again, they're all relic fives and relic threes, the rest of them. But. I'm like, I'm thinking, you know, yeah. get this Omicron in there and get him up to Relic 7 ready for Leia and then move from there. So, yeah, I like that. But I I promise at some point, Aiden will get some love. She just, <laughs> she's just hungry. She's hungry yeah. for Cairo, too. So um, I, my plan is, is I mean, legitly, I, I don't have anything crazy even for Relics right now, too. So she she will be the next up on the docket. Zetas, uh, Captain Rex did get two this week. Suppressing Fire and Master of Marks I'm in there. So got him all ready to go. Omicrons, I did finally make one. Reva is there. So I wanted to get that death mark out there. So the harboring aggression yeah, sure. is finally done. And so I just, I have so many Omicrons that I need. And it's just bad because i know the next one will be captain rex even though i probably should do another reva or do another uh malikos yeah hey. but you know we've talked about this before there's like stuff that bolsters your whole um some of your key teams but there's also like that captain rex t- turns phoenix from like nothing into a viable team it's the the bang for your buck on that is huge i haven't done it but like I, I wish I, <laughs> I had. done it. I well, mean, I, 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 th- I should have. I regret not having done it. That's that's uh, that's just an amazing Omicron. You just remind me of, of something you said in the past, where it goes from an eh to an ah. I don't. <laughs> I just remember you saying that. So like, it just popped in my head. So rewind. Oh, and, yeah. and the one thing too I thought today is actually I wanted to put in some mods. I've been really trying. Again, it ships with lowercase s, but also two mods. Yeah. Trying to work really hard on them. And being that I put so much into Reva, I decided I'm going to have a, a Reva that I want and love. And so um, she's actually, I really worked really hard. She is Relic 9. So then I wanted to get her over 300 speed and still be really good in protection and still really be good in, in uh, health, but then still I be close to that. World. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and, and so then I decided, how am I going to do that? Mods. And so I've really worked pretty hard on that. And so she's right there at that 8,000 offense, too. And at 122,000 uh, health, 95%, 95,000 for protection, and then 306 for speed. Like that, That's a pretty saucy Reva. And so I, I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> yeah. And then like I've been that. working on you know, ways to get my first order team a little bit more bang for buck and get it to where I can get kylo doing better so first order officer i've decided that i'm going to put him in my main team i need to get him up to 307 speed so he's just one more above um you know what hux is so then i can go through to use you know get the uh basically get it to where i can get kylo to do two of those siphons right off the bat which would be awesome so now the thing is is looking at it too looking at some of some people out there using um, more first order, uh, Phasma. I'm gonna. I put her in my mod group too that I'm looking at because again, feeding turn meter to to uh, Slicker. I'm trying to get it to where I can yeah. maybe beef him up a little bit. So she I've always be used fun this, in that team. Yeah, I've always used the same first order team. So I'm really trying to make it to where I get more out of there because then I can move. Yeah. Either way. So that that's my plan. And then lastly is going to be my next group I'm doing is all the Phoenix teams. Because I just realized, too, poor people. I mean, these mods, I mean, I think Hera didn't even have even speed on some of hers. I'm like, what have I been doing? Right. This neglect. <laughs> I mean, it, it's going to be tune abuse here at this point. So, um, <laughs> You will be so reported. Yes, I know. But, yeah, so I just want to throw those mods in just because it's been something really big for me. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. 
So I had to say who I was grinding, and I told you about some mods. I mean, the perfect Reva at some point. So now for yourself, who are you grinding? <sighs> I've done some mod stuff, but I haven't been tracking it. So mm. just know that I did a lot of really hard work on mods. You're like mods, I, mods, and mods. Mods, 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 mods. mods, um, mods. I saw a, a meme a while back on Reddit that just said, bros don't let bros skip mod day. <laughs> that's just <awesome>. really <laughs> resonated with me. Uh, my Bo Katan grind. IG12 and Grogu went from 12 mm. out of 30 up to 0 out of 65. Always nice. feels good going up a star level. Mm-hmm. Paz went from 50 up to 69 out of 85. So moving, you know. Wow, you uh, passed me. Keller and Beck at 5 out of 30. Just mm. big chilling. Um, Cal Kestis stuff. Tarful went from 15 up to 21 out of 65. But I'm oh. like, they, those guys kind of go in and out of my favorites sometimes, you know? They're in there right now. And I think they're going to stay. I think. So, uh, and then Saw went from 27 up to 35 out of 85. They uh, are both gear 11 now, completely maxed out as much as you can be until you're seven stars the big news this week i got leviathan Ooh, i have it it is mine (laughs) um i mean it's four stars so it's great in in fleet arena as long as i'm not going up against another leviathan in which case yeah just start the battle and forfeit and take your credit (laughs) for doing one battle um i could climb with executive uh uh, nope chimera (laughs) <laughs> and I might start doing that. We'll see. We'll see. When when conquest and territory battle are done and I can breathe, maybe I'll do that yeah. from time to time. Uh let's see. Miscellaneous stuff. I got some kind of fun stuff done here. Um the Marauder, the ship, went up to seven stars from eighty nine out of a hundred. I mean that was that was gonna happen. Dark Troopers sitting at Relic Three, I think <laughs> It's going to happen pretty soon. Yeah. But I haven't pulled the trigger yet. I just added today, I think, maybe yesterday, uh, Third Sister to my favorites, Reva. Because nice. I have her at Relic 7, and that's fine. But I'm getting antsy because a raid ended and I bought a bunch of Relic 8 stuff. So I have the stuff. I don't have the signal data, but I have the stuff to take her to Relic 8. And so I'm like, I had to look on .gg and look at a bunch of data and say, okay, who do I not have at Relicate that makes the most sense? And it seems pretty clearly to be Reva. So we're doing that. Um, who else? Baze is in the favorites now. He's gear 12. I figure he's a nice little flex on a Leia team. So if I can use him on a Leia team with old Ben that frees up Mon Mothma to have her own team or something, you know, whatever configuration I kind of settle on, um, I like having that option there. And then Zori. So I got my comeuppance up to six stars and poor little Zori is uh, not ever at five (laughs) stars. Um, no, four stars, right? Yeah, because she is sixty-one out of sixty-five, so she'll be there soon. She's accelerated now, so it's it's moving pretty quickly. Um, I love to see that because I really want to get her into relics so that that ship is better, and then I can put the team together and like be the guy that my dog thinks I am. You know, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. There you go. <laughs> Um, as far as Zetas, I think I did one this week, but I don't really remember doing <laughs> one. I was like, was it an Ewok? No. Was it, uh, Mar- it might've been Moff Gideon. He might've needed one still. So maybe I finished that off, but I, I, for the life of me, cannot tell you what I spent that on. And then Omicron, I'm just slowly gathering for datacrons I've, I've only gotten like four or five and i've gotten two of them that are empire which is cool because mm. i mean that's that's pretty 
universal as far as those are concerned. You can use them on troopers, Lord Vader, Inquisitors, whatever. Yeah, that's it. That's all we got for you this week. It may not be the best advice, but at least we didn't recommend naming yourself since ancient times there have been many lustful heroes and it is not a waste of time to be romantic. <laughs> if you want to continue the conversation, join our Discord server. It's linked in the show description. Become a real live Jawa by supporting us on Patreon and share your thoughts by leaving us a podcast review. Big thanks also go out to SWGOH.GG and SWGOHEvents.com for providing all the hard data we misinterpret weekly. Thanks for tuning in, and may the Force and RNG be with you.